Credits can buy relic levels if you know where to look. Or muscle. I don't know what a relic level is. What? Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. We're talking today about Fennec beating Lord Vader. It's very interesting, guys, this team. I think it has a lot of potential. I've, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna pan out, how it's gonna play out. We'll just have to see. Um, I don't mean to represent that this is this isn't a guide. This is gonna be a showcase of one person's video. So a uh, huge shout out to my buddy J-Rod. He's been one of my patrons for a long time and a good friend. And uh, this footage is really cool, but we're gonna look at the kits first. I'll show you what's going on and then I'll show you the footage. And it is a little, little like cherry picked, I guess. I mean, I, I haven't seen like all the testing and stuff that goes into it, but I think, I think the theory really makes a lot of sense and I just want to give this big a bigger megaphone this is really interesting to me I mean at the same time it kind of just screws us from being able to use Galactic Legends on defense so I don't really know what I'm doing to, to us but let's uh let's go take a look one way or another I, I just really think this is super interesting whoa whoa madness okay <laughs> so here's the team that we're gonna be looking at i think this makes sense i mean we want there's a different elements to all of this so you need you need the zam omicron this is in gac specifically and uh first we'll look at fennec she's got the most interesting aspect to it so all right lone fox as the lead lead uh so the first part is like if she has less than her full amount of people, she gets stronger, and that, that's not going to be the case, so we'll skip that. But her contract, 20 debuffs that are dispelled or expire from Bounty Hunter or Scoundrel allies. And that you get that in one fell swoop from Grief. And then, uh, all about, so the reward is everyone gets their payouts activated, and everyone, all, all the people who are going to be taking, uh, they gain 20% defense, and they gain overconfident until the end of the battle, uh, which is undispellable. So overconfident is a really good, like it's a debuff that you get, but it, it's it's good. So, um, you know, her con her contract, when she gets it, she just gets extra critical chance, crit damage, like the crit chance almost doesn't matter at all, but crit damage also doesn't matter. But she also gains seasoned veteran until the end. And then we have to click around and find what where's what seasoned veteran? What's all this stuff? Uh, she gains stacking offense when whenever she gets tenacity down or tenacity up, which doesn't really happen. Okay, so overconfident. Here's what overconfident is. This is what everyone gets, including her. She gets overconfident and she gets seasoned veteran. So she gets minus 20% defense, but then her contract, the contract that she gives everyone, uh, gives everyone plus 20% defense. They cancel each other out because they're all, they're both additive. And then uh, everyone gains, so, you know, the, the overconfident thing, they gain 50% offense, 10% speed, and 15% evasion. Yay, yay, evasion. Just such a random thing. And then, where is, oh, there's overconfident. Seasoned veteran is the thing that she gets for her contract. Fennec can ignore taunt and gains additional effects on her abilities. Uh, so, I mean, she ignores taunt. That's great. Uh, if, if she's a seasoned veteran, this attack can't be evaded and inflicts an additional stack of armor shred. So that's fancy. And I guess that's it. Let's see. Uh, yeah. It gains be additional benefits, effects on her abilities, but, I mean, does her unique benefit from it? Doesn't really say anything. So, uh, anyways, she, she gains some stuff and things. Uh, Boba, he's cool. He does damage. He does healing immunity. Um, that was about it. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what he does. Zam, ha of course, has her epic unique in Grand Arena where she gives everyone uh, not only uh, a bunch of offense, uh, or a bunch of speed, but she gives them a bunch of offense, max health, max protection, etc. So she's going to be boosting everyone. She's also gaining a bunch of that stuff herself. Grief is, uh, I mean, the biggest thing here, guys, you need that Zeta to be able to uh, dispel all debuffs on bounty hunter allies and you gain retribution and all of this stuff 
Uh, you guys can read the rest of his kit. Pretty cool, but I mean that that's the, by far the biggest thing. Plus, he calls the mass assist. And then Mando, of course, does some cool stuff as well, like disintegrate people. And he get if as long as he gets his contract right away, he he gets to, I mean, he gets to disintegrate someone right away. So that, it's it's cool. I think he's the one uh, that I'm most interested in seeing. What you know, I, I want to see him be able to disintegrate someone, uh, you know, like Maul or something. I, I'm not sure, not sure exactly how how viable all this is. I'm just not sure how viable it is against like one of the really strong builds with Darth Vader and Maul and you know uh, the the whole the whole menagerie so to speak. But but let's go to the video here, guys, and you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so the team we're facing, like I said, I, I'm not trying to represent this as just like the one counter to rule them all. It, it's very interesting to me, but. I mean, we're countering a full tank squad. This is like an anti-troopers team, basically. Like, kind of, kind of. Like, people they don't want they don't want to get troopered. So I guess OG Kylo Ren is is hanging out here as the the Desufu on the team. But there's not really high relic levels and stuff. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt, folks. But I think that this seems like it has the legs to maybe get a little bit. You know, punch a little bit farther up and I'll probably test it as well uh, you know soon but I just wanted to get this out there so all right all right let's jump in there woo jumping in it's fun to have legs because we can jump okay so Lord Vader gives all of these debuffs to people and uh, okay so remember Fenix whole thing is just have 20 debuffs dispelled and look look I mean just on four of them total, I guess on three of them total, there's seven debuffs, or there's seven each, so, I mean, it's 21 on just three of them. So 3v3, I mean, <laughs> Grief and Fennec, you get, you get this right away. Anyways, not that it would work in 3v3, but, alright, get the ability block on Lord Vader, I guess, with Boba, and then see what else happens, guys. Let's see what happens. Let's see it. Do it. So... J-Rod's looking at the abilities, which is understandable. This is in his GAC, by the way, guys. This isn't just... A t I mean, it has to be in GAC because it's Omicron Zam. Very interesting stuff, though, as I keep saying. So, should probably just throw grenades here, guys, which he finally did. And then, it's tough to think... Okay, so she has Seasoned Veteran and she has Overconfidence, so she's doing an, an enormous amount of damage right now. And... Uh, you know, all these guys are pretty low-level tanks, and so she doesn't do that much damage. I almost think she should have just put armor shred on someone, frankly. But uh, Mando, does it, he has his contract, but he can't shoot him because he doesn't have the right buffs on him, apparently. Uh, so I guess, you know, call, call Fennec to assist and, and stuff. So, you know, and then everyone has retribution, so... You know, they hit Fennec, then Fennec is going to hit back. And, you know, now you can just mow down this Royal Guard. And, I mean, so before Fennec hit him, he was already in the red. I mean, I don't know if he'd be dead yet or not, frankly. But, uh, you know, if he was like Relic 9, he'd probably, he'd probably be considerably thicker than Relic 3, obviously. But, I mean, how much thicker do you need do you need to be to be able to withstand the barrage that Fennec is bringing currently. She can also ignore Taunt right now, so she could right now just go and punch, like, if Maul was here, he should, or, or Vader, like Darth Vader, she could go punch one of those guys in the face. Thrawn, all of those guys are pretty, pretty weak sauce right now, and remember, Zam is making them all super fast, like, fast enough that maybe they are, uh, like, probably, in fact, that they're gonna be faster than any Darth Vader, uh, I mean, the, than any team, any characters on this Darth Vader team. So, you know, OG Kylo finally gets a rocket to the face, and then, you know, do we put armor shred on him? Do we, you know, he, this is a Relic 8, Lord Vader. Who knows if he's well modded or not, but, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, go and punch him. He looks, he looks like he's doing okay. Uh, called the mass assist. He's at half health, and, I mean... The, the fact that we're handling Lord Vader this well, 
I think is, it, to me, this is kind of the proof of concept more than anything. Is the, the tanks are weak, but like you, we just punched him in the face really hard and took him out. I, this is very interesting to me, guys. I, we're going to have to mess around with it more. Like I said, I don't want to represent this as like the, the best thing ever. Well, I'll try to put out a better video later, but uh, just, just be thinking about this. I mean... People talking about Lord Failure and how Darth Vader, Lord Vader is just not good anymore uh, on defense, or he's never been. I don't know. This this seems like a pretty cheap counter to a Galactic Legend. I don't know if it's intended, but one way or another, folks, I'm uh, I'm intrigued, as I've said a billion times. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. Oh yeah, go go check out J Rod's video on YouTube if you want. It's in the video description. So check that out. All right. See ya.